Hi everybody, it's Brett Thomas. I'm here to clean this table. And I'm in the middle of cleaning those bricks. This is an olive tree. Anyways, I, I had to stop, mix up a half a gallon of solution, the lemon, the linseed lemon soap. And um, I was like, okay, well, it's dissolving. I'm gonna come over here and clean this table. It's uh, it's actually made of plastic, It's but it's a he really heavy duty plastic table. Hollywood but it's it's, uh, it's a nice table nice and heavy but I don't think it's ever been cleaned and it's been sitting out here in the weather and it's been sitting under this olive tree and and olives are kind of messy if you there's some old some old olives just hanging out okay so I'm gonna use the orange and see what it does see if we can clean this up Okay, so like I said, I'm going to be using the orange today. And again, this one's mixed. If you were just watching my brick video, uh, this is one's uh, mixed about 15 to 1. So, yeah, it's, this is the dirtiest spot, I think, so. Play a little bit on these bristles. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna clean, but I think it will. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was easy compared to those bricks. Oh man, that turned out to be a way bigger job than than I expected. I was like, oh, I'll just breeze through that with this deck brush, you know? Right. That's funny. Now I'm on my hands and knees. It might take me, I don't know, a couple days, but we'll see. Actually, let me. I'll just do like, you know, a portion of it here for you. And it wouldn't hurt just to let it sit for like, but you know, for a few minutes or whatever, but I'm obviously filming and I'm kind of limited. Uh, but yeah, wow, it really came up pretty fast. Like I say, compared to those bricks. Trying to do my best camera work, my best scrubbing. <laughs> so again, this one has the orange oil, orange oil in it. So I, I don't remember if I sprayed that board. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I did. So yeah, it's clean, cleaning up pretty nice. So yeah, you could. You know, spray it down, let it sit for, uh, let it sit for, you know, a few minutes so you don't have to like work so hard. Okay. Okay. I keep forgetting about that darn timer. Okay. Oh, great. I have my uh, the tip on mist. <laughs> so, okay. So, yeah i think it's cleaned up pretty good i unfortunately i cleaned up the dirtiest spot for you to see the contrast but you can still see this is still pretty dirty uh what do you think how, how about i go one more one more round here i'm trying to stand downwind i mean this does have the orange oil in it so you know you know you don't want to be like I don't know, what am I trying to say? You don't want soap in your eyes, right? I mean, okay. But the wind's blowing all, I, I try and film these before it gets too windy, but.
So I'll clean this a little bit more and then I'll finish it off off air, not off air, off, off film and then, and then I'll show you the finished product. Hopefully I'm getting better at these videos. I was thinking, wow, about 20 years ago, roughly, I was thinking about going to film school and like, funny, like I had the desire. Okay, I'm just kind of going over it and over it. I had the desire to, you know, to film but I also had the desire to do soap, and so I'm kind of bringing the two together, which is kind of weird. And I know I'm a bit rusty as far as talking to the camera, which sometimes feels weird talking to myself here, but I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to you guys. No, I, I seriously, I was going to go to film school. I, I went to, it was somewhere in, uh, well, it cleaned up good. It was somewhere in Hollywood. I forget what the name of the school was. I went there and like, you know, I don't know if it was like, it was some kind of interview, you know, I went there and talked to like the administration or whatever they call them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. So hopefully my video making and editing, you know, will get better here in time, but okay. So let me do the rest cause I, I don't want to take up too much of your time. So there it is. I'm going to shoot one more video after it dries, after it dries. And, but anyways, I was just wiping it down. I was thinking, it got me thinking about the film school thing, which I was just like, wow, I forgot I did that. Or I went, I forgot, I forgot I went and apply it or whatever. I don't know if you apply or whatever, but you sign up. Um, but anyways, I've been making soap for 30 years you know as of you know almost 30 years but this was 20 years ago so i was like 10 years into my soap career you know i, I do soap full time i mean it's my career um anyways you know it was like 10 years into it i was like do i really want to do this you know i just i just was kind of uh you know thinking about life and everything and but i decided to keep going with the soap but that's i was kind of i was thinking wow you know I had this natural desire to want to, you know, film and be a director, you know, uh, not so much an actor. I'm not maybe so good in front of the camera, uh, which obviously one of these days here in the near future, I will get in front of the camera. Um, so I'm not so mysterious, but um, anyways, uh, I just wanted to say that little piece before I forgot and while I had the inspiration to talk about it, if you know what I mean, because sometimes I'll want to film something, but like, I won't feel like talking, you know? And then, anyways, I don't know if you know what I mean. Okay, so there it is. Uh, much, much better. I wouldn't say it's good as new because, you know, mold kind of stains a little bit, you know? So, but it definitely cleaned up very nice and very easily. I don't know how many years this table's been sitting out here, um, but it, it could have been sitting out here for several years. And if it would have been cleaned on a regular basis, maybe, you know, obviously the, the mold wouldn't have formed and stained, but uh, yeah, looks pretty darn good. So thanks for watching. And if you have any ideas for anything that you want to see me clean, uh, feel free to com leave it in the comments. I'm curious. I rack my brain like, what can I clean next? And that's kind of half the fun. You know, I, I was thinking about it this like with the soap. I make soap bars. I've been making body soap for, you know, 30 years. And I can't really show you how to use that, right? I mean, it's I'm kind of limited. I mean, okay, I could, you know, I, I'm sure I could get creative and show you how to bathe or wash or whatever, but um, you know, I think we kind of all know how to do that, but with this cleaning soap, this newer brand, um, there's so many fun possibilities. So anyways, okay, not bad. Thanks for watching.